now we are going to discuss about component consumption history okay so if you double click this is the transaction code i'll go slow it's me2 comp okay now here we will put consumption component consumption in history for subcontracting so here if we double if we execute here you can see all the consumption history of this so here if you double click you can you can click on this and it will tell what are the goods receipt that is done okay and then after that uh after that we can um we can find the material document number in in from here okay so uh, then from here you find the material document number you can double click on it okay and uh, you double click and you can see the purchase order number so this purchase order number is marked for deletion if you notice okay now now here if you see this one has some uh, stuff so if you double click on it here you can see the quantity 10 quantity and how many has been received all the 10 has been received mm. all the 10 has been received now let's check the other other purchase orders mm. and then we now check how many this is water quantity 10 10 can we all these things are received so if i double click on this you can see the uh, info record so from the info record you can see the different prices comes okay so if you see net price and you can see the delivery time and all those things so i'm clicking on the general data okay so, so, so this is a training system so let me see it takes more time probably and let me open up another session just to make sure i don't get uh, bogged down from there uh, i don't get bogged down so i'll just execute again and I'll go to the same place. Let's see here. It's still, still churning. So here, uh, if I want to see the, from here, what I can do is I can send mail recipient. So if I click on mail recipient, it will open the email, and uh, I can send an email from here inside SAP. That's that's slick. Okay. So this is also taking some time. The other one is taking time. Let me stop this transaction. So when something takes time, okay, so now it came. So if you see, this is the general data. And here you can see the conditions. If I click on the conditions, the system is pretty slow. So it will open up. And then in the meantime, this is also churning. So let's see. We can new create a new session when something is running like this. And now we'll just go and again click on this double click and we'll try to find so every time if you see the plant is getting populated uh, why it's getting populated because I have the parameter ID uh, for plant set as 1710 so if if you go here parameter ID and if I take this out so click on this and I can delete and if I save it now okay now what I'll do is I'll do the same so let me to comp there's no plant ID okay so here if I execute now I'll get the same details now here if I double this is the material number if I double click here it takes me to the material okay material view of the purchasing so now let's see the other ones so here i'm going here and here you can see i can put email so what type of email i can put i can put our unit i can put internet address you can put an email address and you can put some text and this comes as an attach so if you click you can attach some stuff so it's pretty slick okay and you can put express or whatever you want okay 
so this so this is related with let's go to the consumption place again i'll double click on it go back now here if you see all the fields has been seen oh there are more fields so that's so if you want more fields here you can put and if you see do you remember those two first two po's are marked for deletion so here it will tell you it's marked for deletion so this 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 is pretty slick and you can see the consumption based on the purchase order for subcontracting